Now that you've unboxed your trainer, you're ready to do your first wiring exercise. Start by going to twcontrols.com slash getting started. This has a lot of links that you'll refer back to often, so go ahead and bookmark it. But a little bit down, we have our sample programs that come pre-installed on your trainer. And right below it, we have our wiring enough to get started diagram. We're gonna click it. And the first page tells you a little bit about how to read the diagram. The second page is the overall wiring that's common to all of our trainers. And starting with the third page, it's customized for each PLC. Here's the compact logics, and the next one down is the Micro 850. Notice that we have green contacts and we have red contacts. The green contacts are associated with the NO or normally open. The red contacts are associated with the NC or normally closed contact. Let's start by doing these jumpers that are coming off this plus 24 volt to the green contacts of button one, button two, button three, button four, and switch one. The left set of contacts is your plus 24 volt DC, and the right set is the zero volt or the minus. Let's take a wire from the plus 24 volt to the normally open of button one, button two, button three, button four, and switch one. Also, these terminal blocks are push connects. So to install a wire, you simply push it in. Next, let's go ahead and jumper our lights. On the left side of our diagram, we see the zero volt going to light one, light two, light three, and light four. Take a wire from one side of each of your lights and connect it to the right terminal block. Now let's connect the other side of our buttons to our inputs. Button one is gonna to go to input four. Button two is gonna to go to input five. Button three is gonna to go to input six. Button four is gonna to go to input seven. And switch one is gonna to go to input eight. Notice we skipped input zero through three. The first inputs on the Micro 850 are high-speed inputs. And so we're setting aside those first four so we can do some high-speed applications such as encoders. When you're finished, input four will have button one, input five will have button two, input six will have button three, input seven will have button four, and input eight will have switch one. Don't forget to skip over the COM. Now let's connect the outputs to our lights. Light one will go to output zero, light two will go to output one, light three will go to output two, and light four will go to output three. Now we're gonna connect the commons which are the most common, no pun intended, issue that I see with people's field wiring. Let's start with the inputs. We're gonna take COM0 and COM1 and connect them to the zero VDC. And that is gonna make our inputs syncing. And we have a video on syncing and sourcing inputs that I'll put it at the end of this one. Then we need to connect the plus CM0 and plus CM1 to the plus 24 volt DC. And usually people don't have problems with that because these are sourcing outputs. What I see people leave off is this minus CM0 and minus CM1. Those need to go to the minus of your power supply. When you're finished, you should have a wire on COM0, input 4, input 5, input 6, input 7, COM1, and input 8. Both COM0 and COM1 are going to the zero volt or your right set of terminal blocks. And on the bottom side, you should have wires on plus COM0, output zero, output one, minus COM0, plus COM1, output two, output three, and minus COM1. Now this is the one that trips people up. The minus on both of these go to the zero volt. They go to that right set of terminal blocks. Don't worry about tidying this up too much. Remember, this is an industrial control panel trainer, so I expect you to be unwiring this and wiring it different ways and learning things. Your trainer came pre-installed for a program for you to test your wiring out with. If you have it right, then when you press the green button, the green light will come on, the yellow button, the yellow light will come on, the red button, the red light will come on, and the blue button, the blue light will come on. And if we switch switch one, then it'll sequence through the lights. Also, if you have the HMI option, when you press the green on it, the green light will come on, yellow, red, and blue. And you also get a nice graph down here. If you have the LMC linear actuator option, then you have a little bit more prep to do. So I've created this playlist right here with it. Also, just in case you need to know about syncing and sourcing, I put it in that link too.